Okay, context. We're having an argument. We're not having an argument. I would say it's our first ever moving into our house proper argument. That's a lie. The argument is you just fell asleep in the middle of the day and you're very sensitive. Well, I was talking about a different argument. Oh, it's a different one. That'll be our second argument then. That was since we moved in. No, the. Rosie just fell asleep in the middle of the day and I took some pictures of it because I thought that was funny and I was going to post them Always online. Take photos! Of- you better not have posted them online. I haven't posted them online. Why would I do that when I have a YouTube video to slot them into? If you put this on the video, I'll leave you. Worth it. Group hug. Sometimes when I laugh, my eyes fill up. Like my tear ducts think it's funny, so they just like cry. I don't know why. I don't think it's fucking funny. Oh, she doesn't think it's fucking funny. Oh, we drinking out of Rosie. Oh, is it a part of our new 2018 merch collection available now? It is. I have to support it underneath because I've got really greasy hands. Grease sold separately. Slibbly. <laughs> Rosie and I are very happy to announce that we have just released our new 2018. Mm-hmm. Would you call it a lineup? A range? A, a collection? lineup. I call it a new. Merch collection, two two K eighteen. Bit late. We're like seven months in, but it's cool. Um, hey, hey, who's hey! Counting. I'm a late bloomer. Same. I did everything late. I did um, I uh, I did women late. Uh, there's no time limit on when to have sex with a I'm, woman. I'm later than you. I'm so late to everything. Let me tell you about my lateness, right? Can we talk about our merch first? No, I'm 28 years old. I've just got acne. <laughs> I've been told I need braces. And I'm learning to drive. I've, I'm a teenager in a woman's body. I'm just gonna take a little sip to process that information uh, from this new Rose and Rosie geometric heart mug collection range mm-hmm. collection. This here is what I like to call the rainbow what geometric have you got on it? heart. A bit of toothpaste, and I'd really appreciate it what? if you didn't point that out when I'm trying to promote our merch. It's okay. They didn't all come with toothpaste. It's fine. I think this is the best merch we've ever made. Um, because paste sold separately. Yeah, this is good. Some good shit. So let me take you through what we've got here. We have what I like to call the rainbow outline geometric tee in mm. black. You can get that in long sleeve. You can. It has rose my and rosy favorite. written down the side of it. How self indulgent of us. Mm. Our own names. That's my favorite one. But it's twenty nine degrees today, so that's hot if you're from America. What is in England? Um, so All the Americans are gonna be like, oh my god, that's it's not cold. even hot. It's I cold. would be shivering. I'd be shivering. I'd have my mittens on. Do you know, my I've mittens. met, I, I'm not joking, I've met so many Americans that go, 29 degrees? That's cold! And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, it's not, though, is it? I was not cold, though, is it? it You're it, not cold in I, 29 degrees. I was in London, it was like 31 degrees. One time I was with an American and she went, I'm shivering. It's breezy, no? <laughs> so, no. Right, let's drop the shade because we're hoping some Americans might buy our merch. Oh yeah, please buy our merch. This here. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> God, that was a big one. So Rosie here is um, modelling. You're welcome. This version of this t-shirt in white, and it says Rosie and Rosie on it, um, just in case you forgot why you bought it. Mm-hmm. A personal favourite. The dad cap, the geometric heart. Dad cap. It's actually, if you haven't already seen us modelling these on Instagram, perhaps you should go over um, to get a better indication of how sexy you can look wearing them. Also, I'm not going to touch the hat at the moment because I've got greasy hands, but show them the back. Grease sold separately. Tiny pea heads, like moi, can wear them. They fit now, you get it to fit perfectly. And big head over here can wear it too. Be- beautifully embroidered. Mm-hmm. We do not cut corners when it comes to mm-hmm. quality. Got that high quality embroider because you don't want shit to wash off. I knitted this myself mm-hmm. from, from, from. Yarn. Yarn. And this it's is the sexy Lauren Hareggy style beanie mm. that we all know and love. Mm-hmm. She'd look great in that. She would look great in that. I think Should I send her one? Look. Not you that I do. have her address. <laughs> I imagine it's me Maybe like. Maybe she has a PO box. Like Broody Road. Um, Did you get the text from um, Amy Orman the other day? No. Oh my god, you didn't get it. What text? Shit, maybe she just texted me. What text from she Amy? She was at the mall and Lauren Hareggy was there. She was like, I thought you should know. The glow? Because she gives the update. I don't know. No, it was Amy, so I don't know which mall she was at. Probably a really small one. I can't believe Amy went shopping with Lauren Hareggy and had slept with her. I need to text her back. Shit. I need to get back to her. Let's it. Let's make a video about it. Okay, and then I want to show the totes off, but I can't touch anything because I just put cream on. Cream and grease sold separately. I would send it to her. I haven't got her address, but if we did, it would be one broody crescent. Um, it's a ty dollar crime that um, 
you're not modeling this. Here's Lauren. a beanie so you don't need to TY dollar wine because now it's yours. For, for, free. for free. If you could promote yes, it. Yes, everyone looks good in a beanie, especially you. Why are you switching sides? I'm not switching sides. There aren't any sides. Just I'm just saying like... I miss Lauren Reggae a little bit sometimes. Oh. Just a little bit sometimes. Don't I ever say Tati. that I'm not loyal. I am loyal. I'm loyal. I'm more loyal. I'm loyal, babe. I'm so loyal, babe. babe. Me, I'm I am loyal. loyal. Right, show the tote bag. Pick up the tote I bag. I can't. For fuck's sake, Roseanne. Don't Roseanne me. Let's move on to the tote bag. This here is a tote bag for all your totes. So if you mm. ever think, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm fully out I'm of totes. totes. I'm all out totes. I'm going to go to the mall um, where Lauren Hareggi is with Amy Ordman buying totes. And I'll be like, oh, I need some totes to put in my tote bag. This is brilliant. Don't um, choke on it. Small parts. You know what I think? Mm. Totally. Oh, I've just put that in my tote bag. There was room. One of my favourite items. If you haven't already got one, um, where have you been? Where have you been? Because this is a gay pride flag with our names with our on it. Na literally with our, <laughs> so you can, with our names so you can on it. Doubly represent at pride and in I other, mean, you know, is situations. that not the gayest shit you've ever seen in your life? Bring it to someone in the city. Bring it to our tour. So we're donating ten percent of all proceeds from this gay pride flag to LGBTQ plus charities. We are yet to decide which one. It's a toss up between two or maybe even both of them will split down the middle. Yeah. We'll let, maybe we'll let you guys decide. I'm really, really, really excited about that. Yeah. And also I want to do more giving money to charity because it makes me feel good. So well, there's a selfless reason to give to charity. Yes, it's very selfless. That's really great. Well, at least you're honest about it. But I would like to do more. To make yourself feel better. That's sweet. I'm a nice person. Oh, I know. We give to charity. <laughs> Is this not the gayest shit you've ever seen after Lauren Haraki's Tumblr? What do you think? Isn't that? Oh, so cute. I love it. She'd love one of these. It would be such a TY dollar crime if she doesn't buy one. I've used that joke twice now. She can use it as a TY dollar sign at Pride. <laughs> That's his actual name though, isn't it? So it's mm. a TY dollar sign? Oh, is that his name? <laughs> I thought it was a really good pun. <laughs> oh, stinky. It's in my eye. So if you guys want to get any of our merch this Pride this summer, for whatever reason, then please do click on the link in the description box and, and have, have a little peruse. Peruse yeah. those online shelves and, uh, and see if there's anything that takes you fancy. Yeah, because now I'm sorted literally for all events. Now we've got our new merch line out. So it's like, right, what am I wearing to Summer in the City? Oh, sorted. Yeah. What am I wearing to anything ever? Sorted. sorted. What am I wearing to Pride in Manchester and possibly Brighton? Sorted. sorted. Yeah. yeah, we're, we're sorted. Yeah, sorted. Are you sorted? It's a hard sell, wasn't it? Yeah, it was too much. It was just too much. All our life, since I was 23 and Rosie was 21, we have literally saved everything we've earned. Every? Every penny. single penny. We shopped at Asda. We shopped at Iceland. We never went out anywhere. We lived in shit. We, lived we had no shit. social life. Yeah. All we've ever done is save our money because mm -hmm. we, we wanted, to buy a house. wanted to buy a house. Okay, it's not a mansion, but that's not what we need. I said to Rosie, it's your office, you do whatever you want with it. Yeah. Everything is your decision. You've worked so hard for seven years. You just, it's not a very big office. I love how you gave it, me permission to do what I want. You are Thanks, welcome. Thanks babe. Thanks You're for telling me. Babe, Thanks for babe, giving me the green light on that me. one. It's your don't house too. Me. I'm allowing you to decorate it how you want in your room. Yeah, yeah but the thing is, this is where the arguments stem from. Yeah, we have is. very is. different tastes. Yeah, and it's my so office. So different. Which is why I said, your office is your office. You do whatever you want with it. Yeah, pink and fluffy. Do you or do you not have flamingo blinds? Yeah, I have flamingo blinds. Yeah, pink fluffy. A flamingo is a very accurate representation of myself because I've got great legs and then everything else is up here. <laughs> You've got your pink fluffy chair. Yeah. Your pom pom footstool. Yeah. Your flamingo blinds. Yeah. Um, your pink problem. fluffy rug. Yeah, and I'm gonna get a fluffy light, light pendant light thing, light shade. Because it's my room, and I was born in the era of the Spice Girls. You threw the foot spa in my face. Yeah, I threw it straight in your face. Yeah, Rosie, you did not stop about buying this fucking foot spa. I'll right? tell you why it I stopped using it. Of shit. Right, go on. I know why I stopped using the foot spa. It's because I went to a chiropodist and they got rid of my mosaics. You can put me down all you want about my fluffy pink choices and my foot spa mm. and my mosaic verrucas that are a thing of the past. Okay, they're all shit. Uh, but the thing is, is yeah. do you have an award 
at your university. No, I don't. In your name. I texted my mum and I went, mum, guess what? I've got an award in my name. She went, great, what's it called? <laughs> Rosie, you have an award in your name. That's amazing. I know, but it's annoying because I don't have the award in my name, if you know what I mean, so I can't put it on my shelf. Oh my God, why don't you go back to uni and try and win the award in your name? Oh, I'll show you some outstanding piece of work. Oh you my can God. try. And then I can aim to, I can only aim to win the Roseanne Elizabeth Sporton Award. You just middle named yourself. You're not, it's not yeah. going to be the Roseanne Elizabeth Sporton Award. <laughs> No, All right, probably can't. Only pretentious fucking assholes use their middle name as a stage name as well as their other names. Hereford College of Arts emailed me. Don't like, care about we, you. We'd like to do a piece on you, Rose. An interview, if you will. And I said, of course, I will make any time work. I would love to be featured in your college magazine. When's it out monthly? I don't even know. And 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 I was like, please just tell me whenever whenever you're free, whatever you need, I'll make myself available. Not a problem. Rose. Well, precisely that, Rosie. Nothing. Didn't hear anything back from them whatsoever. I should go to Hereford College of Arts with a beret, right? Why do you call it a beret? What's it called? Beret? <laughs> what the fuck's a beret? <laughs> and I'm gonna say, listen, kids, just because I'm wearing this beret, <laughs> don't for one second be intimidated by my success. You're being so baby lately. It's actually yeah, well, unreal. don't tell me what I can and can't buy. It's, it's 29 down. degrees, don't touch me. Guys, if you watch the vlog that we just put on Rosie's channel, it's really funny. It's really um, good. We I... make a rainbow cake for pride. We talk about how sexy the gardener is. And then people, people thought I was being serious. People were like, since when was Rose by? I was like, since Ryan came into our life, thank you, good night. That's the whole point. It was so funny winding you up. He was with a chainsaw. It was it's hot. so funny. You did think he was hot though. Of course I did. That doesn't make me bi or gay. Oh, uh, wait, straight. Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> what would you do if I said to you, I'm I'm still in love with you. I'm now I'm attracted to men. Do you want to as take well. it any further or No, I don't want to take it any further. That's fine. I'm just saying I'd say, I do you fancy Zac Efron? Would you actually be okay with that? Yeah, as But it, change can be uncomfortable. Yeah. But you'd be alright with me being a bisexual. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Go off. I suppose you can't really say no, can you? Because no, I, I don't care. You don't care now. Oh, wow, that's off. very different from not minding. You don't care. It's almost antagonistic, care? isn't it, saying that to me? You don't care. Why would wow. I care? What if I said to you Is you still you? I'm still me. Don't but care. I talk more about men. Yeah, and what do you say about them? I say Hang Ooh, on. Look when at this. Why do I ever talk about men? Well, hardly ever. But I'm just saying in this I scenario, never talk about in this that. hypothetical scenario, I would like to know how many people mm. would still be subscribed if I said I was bi. Well, they're subscribed and I'm bi. Yeah, but most of them are subscribed for me, that's fine. Right, that's it. Do you know what? Do you know what? I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm putting a sign on my office door and you're not allowed in. You're putting a sign I'm going to put a lock on the door. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Are you actually? Yeah, I am. What are you going to put in there? Men. Probably diaries. I was going to say diary. <laughs> diary. I was like, well, that's okay. You're going to put a lock on your office door? Should I do Because it? I just said that I was bi. Can you believe it? No, I wasn't. She wants to actually put a partition between right, us. I'm going to make you hot. No! I'm hot enough. Do you know what I love? Uh-oh. <clears throat> yeah, carry on. What does he want? <laughs> People are going to unsubscribe again. I love oh. the fact. Oh! <laughs> 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 it's bad. So obviously been I was out of it. I had no idea. Normally I wake up. You know when my artists do this? Yeah. Do you think it's when they're trapped in a wall of their own fart? Do you think you're bi? No, you? I'm a lesbian. So you're a lesbian? Yeah. Still. Yep. If you were bi, yes. You, you, you would you still want to be monogamous though? Yes. So it doesn't really affect anything. How would I feel if you said to me I am a lesbian? Oh, I'm not though. I'm just not. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It's really funny. I, I'm sure. Are you I get, sure? I think I've had one worry that I was wow, a lesbian. A worry. Yeah, it was a worry that I had mislabeled myself. I remember one, that. I one. remember that. It was years ago. And I was like, literally like a week later, I was like, nah. Do you know what I think I did? I think I watched a film with James McAvoy and I was like, never, never, never. I don't think anyone should be judged though if they did come out as straight or bi. Yeah, because they changed like, their feelings. If they change, it, no, no one should ever judge anybody else. Like, say, yeah. say Shannon Beveridge made a video. Yeah, that's the end of the sentence. Say she said, guys, I, I realised from looking at Tumblr that I'm straight. Would you say, oh, I'm gonna unsubscribe from Shannon? No. 
Really, I would. I, I unsubscribed years ago. <laughs> well, I'm glad we cleared that up. <sighs> Guys, my vlogs have got really good. I'm just saying, but. Wait, hey, what is that channel on marriage? Like, what is what? What, what, what is that channel on marriage? Mm. Your vlogs are really good. I'm really mm. enjoying vlogging. We mm. need to do it more because it's so much fun. We are doing it more. I feel like everyone sees a side of us that's like not this side. So maybe this side. Mm. Don't forget to check out our merch on the website. The link is in the description box. I hope you like it. We really, really have fun designing it, and mm -hmm. it's super comfy. I loves. I loves too. Bye. Bye.